I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. No. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there. I'm Sir, please calm down. Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Louis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. What's her blood pressure? I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the Ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 6.15. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you're preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. 
They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely use the EFS to get down to the M-O-R-G-U-E. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion?
the time. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. See you later in the briefing room. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? You helped plenty. <sighs> Still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Can... Can I come in now? I can't do myself. That was awesome. Right. This has to be so sort of Not. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, uh, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go.
Huh. Is everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs' picture on the memorial wall. It's just... a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know, I'm gonna take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker?
You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. my favorite law enforcement officer. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember... If you need anything, I'm your guy. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need him? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. 
No need. SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. gate for the Ed 209 units. We'll secure the area. Let's finish up here and show what it means to be a team player. Suspects are resisting! Oh, 
like you're all that impressive. With all that fancy tech, a brick would know how to shoot. I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. 